welcome to Aston University Engineering Academy. I am Karen Bing and I've got the privilege of being Director of Engineering. The most prestigious role I think in the school and the fact that we are an engineering academy. I've got an amazing team of different engineers, teachers, design engineers and more importantly electronics engineers. The vast amount of knowledge that we've got um, includes myself, I am ex-army myself, um, avionics technician with an electronics degree. So I spent 22 years in the army um, fixing, maintaining and repairing helicopters and from that I then went into teaching into defence colleges. So that got me the feel for teaching, got the opportunity to come here about six years ago and I think it's got an amazing facilities and nothing like what I used to have at school and nothing in normal schools. So to come here would actually expand your knowledge and give you so many opportunities to do and work in the world of engineering. And I'd like to show you around and show you what we are proud of as teachers and what we've developed with our students. To start off with, we've got um, a number of design studios. We have got design classrooms for both A-level, for GCSE and for our year nines practicing their design skills. We've also got two workshops for them to work in. Um, mainly the A-levels have a design studio and the GCSEs get the opportunity to use the Root Studio, which is where they are developing their selves and their skills. We're using the BTEC courses for both Level 2 and Level 3. They get the opportunity to learn about general engineering skills. We have the workshops where they can use their hand skills. They get to use a vast amount of machinery that we have here. None of that sort of machinery is in a normal school. We are a UTC that makes us different and allows us to expand um, what the students' knowledge is and develop their skills further. We get the opportunity when they are in year nine to start those skills early. They get to learn design skills, they get to learn digital skills. They get to learn how to use computers, especially CAD, and how to then design whatever they want to make from computer to product to modeling to final product. And they will develop those skills in order to be able to get to um, and do A-level product design up to year 13. Our most important courses here are our BTEC courses. We have BTEC level 2 and BTEC level 3. We are doing a general engineering course which means you get a feel for all aspects of engineering from product design, electronics, um, manufacturing and maths. We do that both at level 2 and level 3. The level 3 course has got a number of exams that you need to be aware of and it's also got um, things like microcontroller courses so you get to do about software engineering. You also get to look at how to design and you'll eventually make your own product and showcase that product to potential employers. Okay, so the opportunities that are open to you whether you come in at year 9 or come in at year 12 is the destinations and the opportunities. Okay, so from here in year 11 you can continue and carry on and do your BTEC courses or you can go on and go straight on to an apprenticeship doing some sort of engineering. Following year 13 we have the biggest number of data of students going to university and apprenticeships this year um, doing every single type of engineering course that you can think of from chemical engineering to mechanical to biomedical. The opportunities that you get from coming to this academy means that you are well prepared for university, better prepared than anyone who's come from a normal college. You are ready, you are set and you have all the skills and knowledge to fly. Uh, my name is Mohammed. Uh, I've been in the Aston University Junior Academy since year 10. Uh, this is my fifth year and final year. Hopefully I'm planning on going to uh, aircraft engineering in the Navy. Uh, in this classroom we're learning about uh, Unit 15, Hydraulics Unit, so doing hydraulics and pneumatics. As you see in the guys behind me doing, uh, working on the Festo unit, uh, which is simulation to a pneumatic system. Hello, welcome to Electrical and Electronic Engineering. My name is Lee Kellum. Uh, I haven't actually been here that long, but I've had an extensive experience in electronics. So pretty much like yourselves, uh, I joined the Air Force uh, when I was 16 a little bit and then got my first a taste of electronics so I spent three and a half years learning all about uh, the nuts and bolts of electronics before then moving on to uh, practicing it for real on aircraft and I spent 20 years within the Air Force uh, firstly as a as a technician and then as an engineering officer telling other people to go out there and uh, fix the things on the aircraft. Uh, 
I thought that wasn't enough. What I wanted to do was then pass on some of my experience that I had. So then I moved into the world of teaching and now I've been teaching electronics now for the last 10 years. Um, so I can pass on all of my crazy knowledge onto you guys. Hi, I'm Chris Smith. I'm the AST of Engineering at Aston University Engineering Academy. We teach an incredible curriculum here at Aston. In year nine, you will come in, you will experience a load of hands-on skills. You'll go into our purpose-built workshops and you will get some hands-on skills working on machines, working on projects to develop solutions to everyday problems. Alongside that, you will be doing some theory work to get an understanding of materials, of processes, of engineering companies and of products that we use every day. When you move into year 10, you will start the BTEC in engineering. Within that course, again, you'll be doing some hands-on experience using the milling machines, the lathes, and you will be doing some theory, doing an online exam looking at different aspects of engineering. You will then do an investigation into a product, finding out how it's made, why it's made that way, how it's evaluated, and how the quality control is put into the product. Hello, I'm Andy Hewitt. I'm the subject lead for design and technology at Aston University Engineering Academy. At AWEA, we provide both the GCSE and A-level qualification. Both courses take two years to complete and the student's qualification will come from a written examination and a substantial piece of coursework. This exam structure benefits our students because it isn't just their ability to sit an exam that gets tested, but also their design and making skills. In preparation for assessment, myself and the design and technology team aim to develop a student's theoretical and practical understanding. The department is equipped with a variety of machinery, including 3D printers, laser cutters and CNC milling machines. Our philosophy is that if a student can see a piece of machinery, we want them to be able to use it safely, efficiently and independently. As well as having learning taking place within the classroom, we strive to provide opportunities outside the classroom. This allows students to contextualise their understanding. Educational trips in the past have included visiting engineering fabricators and seeing machinery in action at an industrial scale. Design and technology is a challenging but rewarding subject and we look forward to receiving the next generation of creative individuals.